but there's a really cool image that comes with that. And I think of just the other day I was cleaning my house and there's this bush outside on our porch and it's growing these really beautiful white flowers. And so I thought I'll cut some of those off and put them in the house because they're just so beautiful. And uh, so I cut some off and just put them in different places in my house and it took about 24 hours for those things to become gross and ugly <laughs> and wilty and disgusting. And, uh, and, you know, it's not necessarily in the moment I'm thinking of something profound, but when we're singing these words, it just makes me realize that it took no time at all for something when it was cut off from its source of nutrients to lose all beauty. And so when, when we're singing, keep my eyes fixed on you, keep my heart rooted in you, it reminds me of John 15, where these words are pretty much coming straight from. So let's look at that. It says, abide in me, this is Jesus talking, abide in me as I also abide in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must be rooted in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you are rooted in me. So I'm thinking, the times in which I am starting to get wilty, where there's not really anything beautiful coming out of me, um, I, I can kind of look at this and ask myself, what am I being rooted in? So if you do not abide in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. You're like that flower that you cut off by your front porch and put in a jar 24 hours. It was all wilty and gross. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. Which I'm so glad it ends that way. It's not saying, he's not saying, you need to root yourself in me because if you don't, you're breaking the rules. Or you need to root yourself in me because otherwise we're not going to be friends. It's not like that. He's saying, root yourself in me so I can give you all the joy that you can, so you can be complete in joy. And that sounds pretty good. So, so when we sing this last part, let it just be an exercise in us kind of rooting ourselves in who God is. So we're going to sing, may your voice be louder, may your voice be clearer. Thank you. 